Am I dead? Why does heaven smell like a wet dog? Oh wait, never mind. I am Uwatu, the Watcher. I prevented your deaths, for you are needed to save this universe. Listen closely, mortals. Doctor Doom's unrestrained use of Odin's power will soon tear the fabric of reality beyond repair. I have broken my sacred vow to only observe so that I may give you this one chance to save your world. Who can stand against the power of Odin? Even the gods of mighty Asgard have fallen. Doom's power seems unlimited, but you must know a way to stop him. Yes, there is a chance, but it will be difficult. First, you must obtain the Makran Crystal, a Shi'ar gem of fantastic power. Next, you must acquire another object of great power, and it will take all your strength and skill. You must face the World Eater known as Galactus. Greetings, I am Watu, the Watcher, and this is Atalan, the moon-based home of the Inhumans. He believes he has, but I saved you at the last possible moment. Though I have vowed to never interfere with earthly affairs, the danger is too great for me to stand idly by. Doctor Doom's misuse of Odin's power is tearing the fabric of reality, and you are the only ones who can defeat him. You must steal Odin's powers away from him, and to do that, you must acquire two items from the vast reaches of outer space. The first item needed is a shard of the Makran Crystal, located in the Shi'ar Empire. For more information on this mission, talk to the one called Black Widow. Should you wish to leave immediately, talk to the creature known as Lockjaw. Yes, how may I help you? She is the ruler of the Shi'ar Empire, a vast kingdom that encompasses entire galaxies. Her subjects find her to be wise and just. She has long been a friend of Earth, so I don't believe you will have any trouble in dealing with her. They are a group of humans that had been experimented upon by an advanced race many years ago. Because of that experimentation, the Inhumans now exhibit mutations when exposed to Terrigen Mist. It is a compound developed by the Inhumans to trigger mutations. After entering this mist, an Inhuman's special mutant talents will become active. Black Bolt is the king of the Inhumans. 
His voice is so powerful he dare not speak. Once he uttered the word no and destroyed a large portion of the city. Yes, his wife Medusa aids him, along with his advisors, Gorgon, Karnak, Triton, and Crystal. I am pleased to help. On behalf of Black Bolt, monarch of my people, welcome to Adelan. My name is Crystal. I would remind you not to attempt conversation with Black Bolt. His vocal power is so immense that he could destroy half of the city with a whisper. I have a question for you. My sister Medusa had traveled to Earth in search of the ultimate nullifier to defeat Doctor Doom. But we haven't heard from Medusa in quite some time, and we aren't certain where she might have gone for the device. She's either at the Baxter Building, Shield Headquarters, or Muir Island. Would you mind asking Dr. Pym where the ultimate nullifier is being kept? Greetings, humans. I am Triton. It is good to see you. Well, I must admit to a certain affinity for your kind, and I have faith you will be able to help us locate Medusa. I am an advisor to Black Bolt, and I was also one of the first Inhumans to leave the confines of Atalan. Unfortunately, that led to my capture by a film crew. Eventually, and because of that incident, Atalan was transported to the Himalayas, and some time after that, we moved to our current location on the moon. We prefer to avoid contact with humans. Not that we fear you. Rather, we fear your ignorance and your suspicion of that which is different. Over time, your kind would have sought to attack us. That, plus the fact that your pollution of the air has made Earth's atmosphere all but unbreathable for us. I was there all those long decades ago when a ship of yours, the Lusitania, was sunk. At first I was sickened that your kind could commit such an atrocity. I was about to depart when I heard your people's cries for help. I knew I couldn't leave them to drown. Unfortunately, I was only able to save one young boy named Billy. But since that day, I felt somewhat of an obligation to help your kind. You're quite welcome. Yes? Did you need something else? My name is Crystal. I'm the sister of Medusa, who's the wife of Black Bolt. Yes, I have the psionic ability to control the four elements. Fire, water, earth, and air. A handheld device of unknown origin, the ultimate nullifier is thought to be able to eliminate any target desired. Apparently, even Galactus is frightened by it. You're welcome. I've never been so glad to lay eyes on my own kind. I'd heard you were dead. Ah, we're helpless. Doom shrugged off every attempt we've made, and we've hit his castle with everything we've got. 
Small tactical teams, stealth bombers, laser-guided missiles. Heck, we even tried the new gamma bombs. Nothing slows him down. Yeah, the X-Men and several other teams made a direct attack on Castle Doom. He beat them all, even Professor Xavier. I've never seen anything like it. What worries me most is Dr. Doom's just starting to learn about his powers. What's he going to do once he gains full control? I wish I had better news for you. Humans in the council chamber of Atalan. Never thought I'd see the day. But these are strange times indeed, seeing as how you are our only hope of finding Medusa. I suppose I should welcome you. My name is Gorgon, and I am the Minister of War for the Royal Family. The name is Gorgon. I am in charge of Atalan's military. But don't think I got the job just because I'm cousin to King Blackbolt and his insane brother. Yes, Maximus is a telepath who's tried to take the throne of Atalan a number of times. Once he even staged an uprising of the Alpha Primitives. But don't worry, I have him safely locked up in the maze. They are the working class clones who live beneath the city of Atalan. They perform all the heavy tasks needed to keep the city running. No, no. At one point they could have been considered that, but they have been given their freedom. Many of them just enjoy doing the work they were trained to do and don't want to leave. You're welcome, I guess. Hi, welcome to Adelan. The Fantastic Four had been looking after it, but then I think S.H.I.E.L.D. took it. You should ask Nick Fury. Hey, it's what I'm here for. Welcome to Adelan. I'm glad you could make it. Things were... Yes. By defeating Thor's father with the Twilight Sword and then taking him to the top of Raven's Spire, Doom knew he could steal Odin's power. It's useless to fight him in our current condition. So, we're going to do exactly what Doom did and steal Odin's power back. It was for a short time, but after the attack on the Helicarrier and the Omega, it was given to the X-Men to hide. Ask the Black Widow about it. You're welcome. Yes? Was there something else you need? Yes. It was given to them a short time ago. 
They placed the device on Muir Island, under the care of Dr. Moira McTaggart. The security systems there are currently the best in the world. They are constantly being upgraded by the X-Men known as Forge and Beast. You are very welcome. Hello, it's good to see you. What can I do for you? Oh yes, he and I first met in college. We were supposed to be roommates, but he took an instant disliking to me and moved somewhere else. And that actually worked out for the best. Because I wound up with Ben Grimm as my roommate, and we've been best friends ever since. Hmm, pretty much exactly how he is today. Arrogant, egotistical, and a genius. It's a shame, really. There was a time when I thought he and I could be friends. Well, in some ways, he and I are very much alike in our pursuit of science. The main difference is, I enjoy knowledge for the sake of knowledge. Doom, on the other hand, acquires knowledge in the hopes of using it as a weapon. Back in college, I pointed out an error in a project he was working on. He, of course, refused to accept that he was capable of making a mistake, so he proceeded with the experiment. Unfortunately, I was correct, and the equipment exploded. Doom wound up being expelled from college because of it. To this day, he still thinks I tampered with the experiment and caused all his troubles. It was no problem at all. Yes? Did you need something else? You're welcome. I welcome you to Atalan. My name is Karnak. Yes, I am. My gift is the ability to see the weakness in anything. A plan, an item, even a person. Which explains why I'm part of my cousin's council. Black Bolt. King of the Inhumans. He often uses me as a strategist to find what problems there might be in any plans we conceive. I profess we were somewhat reluctant to allow you here, but Uatu explained the situation to us. It would seem inevitable. He knows of us, and given his power, we are too tempting a target for him to ignore. I am pleased to help. You'll be traveling to the Shi'ar Empire for this next mission. It's located in a galaxy in another part of the universe. Once there, you'll need to lay hands on a shard of the Makran Crystal. Will the Shi'ar be willing to part with it? The Crystal is very important to the Shi'ar, but we're good friends with their ruler, Lilandra. 
I don't think she'll mind giving it to us, especially when she learns how important it is in stopping Doctor Doom. You X-Men are pretty well connected. You've even got buddies in other galaxies. Xavier's the one who's close to Lilandra. They used to be good friends. Really good friends, if you catch my meaning. Ooh, guess that means Lalandra's not gonna be some wrinkled old prune of a queen. You can say that again, bub. What is the Shi'ar Empire? It's an ancient kingdom that spans entire galaxies and consists of thousands of different civilizations. Are they peaceful? They have had their periods of upheaval, usually due to struggles within the royal family. But for the most part, yes. What exactly is this Macran crystal? It houses a gateway into a universe filled with neutron stars. The power available there is beyond measure. I can see how that would be useful in defeating Doctor Doom. All right then. Get to Shi'ar and locate Lalandra as fast as you can. Once you've convinced her to give you the crystal, get back here pronto. Good luck. Surrender immediately! Well, well, well. What brings my fellow man to this distant galaxy? Don't you know? There's been a coup. Deathbird has taken the throne from her sister, Lalandra. Then you should be very motivated to see Lalandra back on the throne, because Deathbird certainly won't give you anything other than life in prison. Hold on! Remember, the only way to activate a force field is to find the console that operates it. Lalandra's a good friend of mine, and when a friend's in need, I make it a practice to lend a hand. Because heaven knows, there's been times when I needed help. Now come on, I can see you kids are gonna need a little help, so I'll travel a ways with you. Our first order of business is to get across this fighter bay in one piece. Slay these pitiful humans! I can really use the eyes! Don't wander off. Why not? 
Well, my friends, this is where we part ways. I wish I could, but I have other things to attend to. But I'll tell you what, if you'll be willing to carry out a few objectives for me, I'll be happy to walk you through the ship over the radio. Great. Your first order of business will be to stop this ship. I'll be in touch with you when you get to engineering. Watch your back, my friends. Okay, friends, now that you're in engineering, I need you to stop this ship. Find the hyperdrive matrix and destroy it. It's the big round thing, somewhere in engineering. You can't miss it. Destroy these jackals! secure. Hey, who's that? Intruders! Let's split up! You would dare to the shield! I really need some help! Next up, how about some assistance? Of course. Of course. Stay close. A bit of help here? Of course. I will help you, this scoundrel. 
just what I was thinking. As you wish. You would dare trespass on a ship of I the shields? Why? Stay close. Of course. I require assistance. Just what I was thinking. Stay close. I need help with this scoundrel. Okie doke. give you this one chance to go. I do not wish to harm you or your friends. Have you gone mental? I mean, what are you doing threatening us when you should be helping Lalandra? Though it pains me, I am honor bound to serve the Empress of Shi'ar, and Deathbird is now the Empress. She has ordered that I destroy all invaders. But Deathbird's the invader, not us! The battle for the throne is over, and Lilandra lost. I'll ask you one last time, Iceman. Please, leave this ship, or I shall be forced to use violence. You don't scare us, Gladiator. Even if you can fly through the center of a star. This saddens me, but I have no choice. Prepare to defend yourselves.
You haven't the strength by your command. Why not? 